Alrighty, we are back, which means it's time for another episode of What's That In Your Ink? No, it's time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. And there's something in my ink. This is ink. I'm Mark Zimmerman. I'm rolling a very thin layer of ink out on a sheet of plexiglass inside some lot some little strips of tape. I'm going to drop a sheet of paper over that ink and then draw and rub on the back of that paper doing an ink transfer drawing that way and then I'll splash a little color on it a little watercolor on it and we'll be done. So I'll try to tell you a little bit about what it is I'm doing, what it is I'm thinking and if it gets complicated, I'll just get quiet. <laughs> All right, um, so that ink is inside that rectangle of tape and I can usually feel that tape with this pen. Maybe, gee, where, oh goodness, Mark. There it is. Be good if I acted like I'd done this before. Okay, um, I'm going to start this right up here, and I'm going to draw a raven, because I've been drawing ravens lately, and I like drawing ravens, so... And there's a bit of the beak. So the pressure of the pen on the back of this paper transfers ink. You'll notice that I'm not setting the, my hand down. If I set my hand down or touch the paper, I transfer ink that way too. So I'm either keeping my hand off the paper or um, above the paper. So here I'm going to go have to go back to above. I could also, maybe I'll do that. I've got a little bridge here and I can put that out there and Maybe I should put an eye in here before it's too late, huh? There's quite a bit of dark around the eye and actually a kind of a lighter ring around the eye too. Let's come down in here. Let's do this next. This raven is kind of in an odd position. I'm looking at a photograph. It's telling me. So I've drawn a lot of ravens and crows lately, but I don't know their anatomy well enough to just make this stuff up. But I can draw what I see. So I'm looking at a photograph, drawing what I see. He's got some pretty... Pretty wild feathers, they're kind of up a lot. Something ravens do, I guess.
partly ink transfer drawings, as you can see, are just a, in part an excuse to scribble. Hmm. There's dark up inside, kind of in between these feathers up toward the top. Gets lighter as it comes down, darker as it goes up in. Um, this Got quite a little wing sticking out here. Which doesn't seem to go down as far as the other wing. I guess they can lift their wings, can't they? There again, I'm not really thinking about... I mean, I would draw those wings the same length if I thought about it. The photograph shows that they are different. My pen just stopped working. There it goes. I've got a little scratch paper over there I go to when my ink stops working. Or my pen stops working. It still transfers ink, of course pressure of the pen, whether it's drawing or not, transfers ink. Sharpen again, there it is. Boy, he's dark. So, draw a lot of dark. I'm kind of leaning in a little bit. I'll put that right over there. I can see it. There you can see the picture I'm looking at. So it turns out as I draw it, I realize that's a little picture. I guess I knew that going in, but it's also one that does not show the detail very well. So I'm kind of doing what I can here. Cool feet on on these ravens. Hmm. One of the keys to uh, an ink transfer drawing, one of the things you learn pretty quickly, is that you're better off underdrawing than overdrawing. So I'm trying not to draw too much here. Uh, but I could just use this. Lay that down and 
Ha! There we go. And part of me is thinking about what to do in the background. I don't think I want anything even as complicated as a line of trees. So, it is just really dark down in here. So, lots of overlapping lines. I bet I could do this too. Get that bridge out of there. I think I'm going to measure something. Um, I want a golden section here. Um, and I want a little shadow. I can transfer ink by pressing on the back of the paper too. That transfers ink, and I'll transfer a little ink down in here too. Okay. So like I was going to say, um, I want a, a golden section of this distance. I want the ratio to be a golden proportion. So I'm going to come six and three quarter inches up and put a horizontal line in right there. Just some sort of division of space is all. And I think I'm going to very lightly put a little, put a little tonal area, a little value, a little darker value right back in there. Let's take a peek, see what I've got. I can always add more. I cannot. Um, I cannot erase. I think we're okay. So I'll splash a little color on this. You'll notice that he came out backwards. When you do a transfer drawing you get a mirror image. And you can see those places where I just touched it lightly with my finger, pushed a little harder down in there, transferring just a little bit of little bit of a um, little bit of ink. I think I'm on a board underneath here too. So now I need to think a little bit backwards. My wife would tell you that I'm pretty good at that. Okay. So there's kind of an iridescence very often on a on a crow or a raven. This is a raven, I'm pretty sure. And so you get reflected light coming off the feathers that appears to be blue or violet. So I've got kind of a turquoise blue here.
It also is making it a little darker too, isn't it? So if I want to look at this wing, I need to look on the other side. So I don't see any any white, like I'm leaving some lights up in here, but I don't see any lights down in here, so I'm just going over all this with blue. Um, come back, let's look at this leg here. Switch to the other leg. There we go. Rinse that brush and I think pick up some of this watercolor where it's a little, got little puddles kind of sitting up on the ink. I really don't want that to happen. There we go. That's just a filthy piece of paper towel I did that with. Um, all right. Let's put just a touch of a warmer color in there too. See how dark that is. A little dark, maybe dunk it in the water once. Uh, it's easier for me to turn it a little bit, so I'm going to turn this just a touch. I'm just going to come back and And maybe dry that brush, come back and pick up anything that's sitting up on the surface. Just warm that blue up a little bit with some purple, purple of violet. Still kind of a cool color, but um, a little warmer. It's got a little red in it. Um, Blue is about as cool as a color can get. Mm. I was going to go for a earth tone, but I went for the wrong one. Let's go back and do this one. So I'm going to turn this, sorry, and let gravity pull this paint down for me. I've already got the shadows, so I don't need to worry about those. And lay it down, finish that. Okay. I'm going to go for just straight compliments. Um, so the blue, the straight compliment, the direct compliment for blue is orange. So again, I'm going to tip this, let gravity bring that color down for me. A little more paint. Next time I run out of paint, I should do that little triangle too. Huh? Like now might be a good time to do that little triangle. Let's get this side. Again, letting gravity just move that paint down the paper for me. A 
And the question is to go for the direct complement of purple, violet, I'm going to play a little different note. I think I'm going to play a little different note. I'm going to play it a little soft. So I'm going to start with this. Pretty full strength. It's still kind of a tint. It's not real dark. Get off there. Gee, Mark, watch where you're going. I'm going to take that and add some water to it. And spatter out in the border. Very nice. So this time I'm letting the water or gravity take my watery paint this direction. A little bit darker. And a little darker yet. Darker just means more pigment. Okay. So I always sign them in pencil down below on the bottom. And I might actually come back. I think I want this just a teeny bit darker here too. Like I said, I sign them in pencil. We're just going to call this um, we'll call it the roost and sign it and date it 2020 and there is the roost I hope you've had, uh, had as much fun watching as I had doing it so until next episode until next time bye bye